Hi, my name is Denver Smart. I'm responsible for oil and gas business development for the Emerson Flow Group. This demo depicts a remote automation and SCADA architecture that's available through Emerson Process Management that helps our customers manage gas predominant production facilities. The objective here is to help our customers optimize production and yield while extending the overall economic life of their fields. Our customers face a large number of challenges when trying to manage a large number of remote production facilities. The first is recognizing changes in production and production characteristics. The second is early identification of production problems that could affect the availability of their wells or even the facilities that they have in place. The third is to try and minimize the operating costs in such a widely dispersed infrastructure. And the fourth is to provide responsible operations to help mitigate risk associated with safety, health, or environmental events. The three key elements of this demo that help us resolve customer challenges are our open enterprise architecture for data management and consolidation, remote automation for localized field control, and field devices. The field devices depict the typical challenges that we see in production facilities, whether it be a centralized test separator, a test separator that is located at a well pad, or tanking systems that are being used in, at the well head. One important aspect of these measuring devices is the ability to measure production characteristics. This includes condensate, water, and natural gas. All fields exhibit a natural rate of decline. This can vary from 4% per year to as much as 1% per week as associated with shale production fields. The magnetic Coriolis vortex orifice plate flow to measurement devices that you see here provide us the ability to sustain measurement performance over those changing conditions. This allows us to deliver to the customer accurate, reliable, and timely data. That data is utilized to not only optimize production, but to provide timely insight to production problems that could be damaging the well or damaging facilities in the field. The remote automation architecture allows our customers to tap into the full capabilities of their automation programs. The production manager module allows our customers to get localized optimization of artificial lift systems. This helps defer the chances for lost production, thereby increasing revenues to our customer. One of the concerns when you say that you're automate, automating the field is, is the data valid? Can I utilize that data for the automation and can I have the ability to trust it? Well, other modules exist that allow us to go into the devices for some general diagnostics capabilities to try and assess the health of the device and the data that it's providing, but there's also advanced diagnostics available today that allows us to drill down into verification of the sensor, the electronics, and even the, the fundamental principles being used to gain those measurements. Utilizing those modules just means that I'm optimizing with confidence because I know that I've got good integrity in my data. So even though we're optimizing with good data, there can also be abnormal events which could influence or affect the measurements that I'm getting. One of the examples of this is in trained gas that could be in the liquids. In test separators, it's not uncommon for there to be gas carry under into the liquid leg, which over-exaggerates the volume that that device is reading. The same modular technology to assess device health can also go back and alarm and identify when those abnormal situations occur. In some cases, it's just purely an identification process, and in other cases, it can actually initiate remedial action to help correct for those volume inaccuracies and ensure that correct and accurate production data is being delivered to the customer. Those asset management capabilities also have another feature to them, is that they reduce the need for people to go out in the field. And as soon as we start reducing time to go to the field, what we're starting to do is reduce the overall operational costs of that facility. Operators and maintenance people can now focus only on problematic wells versus trying to visit each well to see if anything is happening. Using this technology in combination to minimize trips to the field and avoid unnecessary maintenance programs, such as pulling in specs to see if something is wrong, helps to us to provide responsible operations to reduce safety, environmental, and health events in the field. The open enterprise 
element provides a cost-effective data collection and management structure to be able to get essential information to production and operations throughout the organization. The scalable design allows it to grow with the needs of the customer as the production methodologies start to change in the field. The human-centered design associated with this system means that you don't necessarily always need an expert to be able to access and assess the information to recognize if there's problems or opportunities for improvement in your production methodology. So in summary, this architecture is able to provide accurate, timely, and reliable data to establish optimal production rates and early identification of problems with facilities and wells. The localized automation will help to maintain optimal production and minimize deferred production. This architecture also will help reduce overall operations and maintenance costs and the ability to utilize it to minimize trips in the field and optimize maintenance operations just means responsible operations mitigating risk associated with safety, health and environment. Thank you.